Now, I want to introduce the shooting method. Uh, that's the first method that we're going to introduce for solving boundary value problems. Uh, but in introducing the shooting method, I wanted to use the same example that we'd seen before, but I wanted to remind you all of the background. So we had this function, y equals negative 0.5x to the fourth plus uh, 4x cubed minus 10x squared uh, plus 8.5x plus 1. Okay, so this was our original function, but we don't know that. All we were given is uh, dy dx equals minus 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 20x plus 8.5. That's all we're given. We're given the derivative of the function, right? So uh, dy dx equals f of x, y. And in this case, it's only a function of x, but but that's fine. It's just a simplified version. Uh, and then we have to find the original y. And y equals what? And we were given, usually we're given, uh, y of 0. And again, uh, let's look back at this, uh, at the graph. So, so just from this dy dx that we're given, uh, we can construct this slope field, which is the, the little arrows. And if we're given, uh, if we're given dy dx, uh, then uh, and we're given an initial value, so we start somewhere. We can just run through, and we can follow, uh, sort of surf the surf the wave here, uh, follow through, and just um, follow the 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 gradient here. Well, what happens if we're not right? So what I asked is, what if we were given this last point here? Whoa, okay. Now we don't know how to do it. So this is. This is a boundary value problem. And, and this is a Dirichlet boundary condition, just, just to remind us of the no nomenclature. This is a Dirichlet boundary condition because we're given y uh, of 4. And let's say that's the other endpoint that we care about. y of 4 is equal to um, 3. OK, well, great. Now, y of 4 equals 3, what do we do? Well, this method that I'm going to show you is called the shooting method. And so for the shooting method, what we do is we just guess what y of 0 is. So we, we guess, and I don't know what a good guess is, so we just let's just say y of 0 equals 0. So let's say that's our initial guess. So we say y of 0 equals 0, and you can see that that would show up right here. And we say y of 0 equals 0, and then we do our uh, regular method that we've always used, and we just follow along here, and do do do, and we come up with this something hopefully similar to this purple solution. And at the end, what we find out is uh, y of 4, and so we start with that, and what we get is y of 4. I mean, we get a complete solution, but what we find, what we find out is that y of 4 uh, is equal to not 3, but 2. Okay, and so you go, oh, great. Yeah, all right. Well, now what do we do? We got it wrong. Okay, well, we guess again. And, and we guess again, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to, when we're, when we're guessing, is we're going to try to bracket the answer. And, and for the first one, we have no idea what's going to happen, but we know y of 0 equals 0. Uh, so let's just try some different value. And so maybe let's try y of 0 uh, equals, uh, so just to make it simple, we'll follow the diagram here. Uh, let's say y of 0 uh, equals 2. And so then we start here, and we shoot. So that, that, that is sort of called one shot. We took one shot. OK, we took one shot, and we missed, right? We missed off. We were off by that far, OK? And so then we take another shot. We, we start, we guess another value, and we take another shot, and we follow this little, um, we follow the wave, and we come up with this, the, we follow the slope, and we come up with this little blue equation here. And what do we, what do we get? Well, we get y of 4 uh, is equal to 4. I say, OK, well, we overshot at that time, because we know that y of 4 should equal 3. Here, switch color so we can see what I'm saying y of 4 should equal 3, uh, but it equaled 4 here and it equaled 2 here. Well, great, we bracketed the value. And so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do linear interpolation between uh, 2 and 4 and, and knowing that these were 0 and 2. So we have 0, 2, 2, 4, and 3, and we have to find what the missing value. We're just going to do linear interpolation, and when we do that linear interpolation, um, we're going to come up with this value right here in the middle. That's the one we want. Well, 
not this value. We already know uh, what that value is. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to interpolate to come up with uh, given this value and this value, we're going to interpolate to come up with this value. So this is just linear interpolation, and I'll just work through it uh, for this problem uh, so that we can see uh, what that is. So we guessed we guessed y of zero equals zero and y of zero equals two, and we got uh, y of four equals two and y of four equals four. Now, uh, let me just, so, so we have our equation for um, linear interpolation, y equals y naught plus y one minus y naught times x minus x naught uh, over uh, x one minus x naught. Right, that is our equation uh, for interpolation. And so if we just say, well, oh, and the other thing, of course, that we know is that y, yes, that's important, is that y of four equals three. All right, so we're just gonna start naming things. I'm gonna call this uh, x, and I'm gonna call these, um, and now this will be, I'll call this x1, uh, or well, x naught, and I'll call this x1, and so then this will be, this will be um, y uh, not. Well, not y not. We have to have them correspond. Y one, and then this will be y not. So then we have um, y equals zero plus two minus zero times. 3 minus 2 over 4 minus 2, and that works out to 2, what's 0 plus uh, 2 times 1 half, and that just equals 1. So we get then that the, that the, um, that the value that we should use is y of 0 equals 1. And sure enough, when we use y of zero equals one, that means we start here and we follow along, follow along, and we're gonna get a y of four. Oh, sorry, you can't see all of that. We're gonna follow this along here and we're gonna get y of four equals three, just like we wanted to. So we're gonna come up with the right answer. That is the shooting method. Now, uh, you may have a situation, so, so in this case, the linear interpolation worked out really nice. The linear interpolation won't always work out really nice like this. Uh, so there are other things that you can do. Well, what are the other things that you can do? Well, one of the things that you can do is you can try uh, quadratic interpolation, so instead of Instead of just fitting two points uh, and, and interpolating between those two, you could try quadratic interpolation, fit three points, and then interpolate on the quadratic uh, function. Uh, or um, we may need to try a different approach. Uh, but, but this is the standard shooting method, and so it doesn't always work. In particular, when we really, really, really run into a problems, is like when we have lots of equations that we're trying to solve or when our values are given at lots of different locations it can be really hard um, it can be really hard to make the shooting method work and so that's where we're gonna have to rely on some other approach